Hey guys, what's going on? Not sure if you've seen the video I made a couple years back on my spinning reel spooling station. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link that down below as well as how to spool a spinning reel. But uh, today we're going to modify it a little bit to accommodate the bigger spools for a baitcaster. Okay, these are the uh, Seaguar Senshi 3000 yard spools. Okay, normally when I'm spooling a baitcaster, I use this spooling station here. But these here, these create the tension and they're too small. They go inside that, uh, that bigger spool there. So like I said, we're going to modify the spinning reel spooling station to accommodate those bigger spools. All I'm going to do right now is clamp this to the shelving and um, we'll get to it. I got my 10-year-old my there on the camera. Let me know how he's doing. If he's doing pretty good, maybe I'll hire him for the summer. What do you think, Ben? Yep. But if you make everybody dizzy, most likely you won't get the job. <laughs> I'm trying not to make people dizzy. You're doing dizzy. good, but you're doing good. Now, like I said, this was for spinning reels. Okay, spinning reels, you want it laying flat. I got up on its side here for the baitcaster. Now, the first thing I did, now I'm only making this video in case you guys made this spooling station. I'm just letting you guys know how you can modify it for a baitcaster. For the baitcaster, you want it on the side so the line can come off the top of the spool, okay? So the first thing I did was I just cut an inch and a half of wood off so when I put the spool on, there's no overhanging wood for the line to rub on. That's the first thing I did. Not a huge deal, but I wanted to do that. Okay, first we're going to take out one of the shorter bolts. And if you guys seen the original video, you'll see on the other side here that I have the head recessed so it can't spin. So all we're doing is getting a longer bolt. I believe this one is five and a half inches. Okay, put that through there, lock in place. Okay, grab yourself a washer. Put that on there. You can view them. You see it? We're good? Okay, this here is what's going to make this work. These are bushings. Okay. Half inch inside diameter, you'll see here, fits inside the spool, okay, and then the bolt will fit inside that. So slide one of those on there, slide the bushing on. Now, bait caster with the line coming off the top. So let's see here. Get line coming off the top, slide that on there. Another bushing. Another washer and your wing nut. Okay, now you can adjust the tension with the wing nut. Obviously the looser it is, the freer the spool can spin. Okay, you can hold the line with your fingers or with your thumb and your, and your finger there to create the tension. You can tighten up the wing nut to give it some tension or you can use, like I'm using one here, uh, the, the shark tooth. There's other um, things on the market like these as well. I believe they're called spool tamers and things like that. But uh, I'm just using, using the shark tooth. These are discontinued, they don't make these anymore. But um, like I said, you can use something like this or just use the wing nut there to create the tension. So guys, that's how I modified my spinning reel spooling station to accommodate those bigger 3,000 yard spools. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and remember to let me know how my little man did on the filming. Talk to you guys soon.